The Philippines is a country that has claimed numerous times that it wants to become one of the fastest growing economies in the entire world. It has been touting many foreign investments to jump into this opportunity. However, much of what the country has done so far is by cultivating ambitious programs, telling overseas people that with the new embedded change, the country is now capable of providing means of growth for overseas investments. But there is still a massive issue that the country has to face, and it is to fix its electricity problem. The Philippines today, even after its renowned and so-called ambitious dreams, is still lagging when it comes to providing proper electricity. The country faces rotating power outages from time to time and is home to one of the most expensive electric markets in the entire world, far more than more developed countries, which would typically have higher means of domestic electricity consumption. This is because of one factor. The Philippines is heavily reliant on coal and diesel for powering its nation. As of 2020, coal alone generates over 57% of the entire total power generated in the country. With this non-renewable item being imported overseas, its costs will be more than likely expensive. And when it is used locally, this means that the country's power pricing is subjected to importation costs along with rising world market price. Furthermore, the power industry is also unmatched with proper competition, hence paving the way for unfair pricing from only a few monopolistic businesses, but also hindering innovation and being a more customer-oriented industry. These factors and a lot more are creating a massive electricity problem. Fixing this, however, should be easy and must be necessary. After all, once the country indeed fixes it, it'll be able to capture more foreign investments, especially those directed towards its manufacturing industry. The fix that the government has undertaken recently is revolutionizing the entire power sector by first adopting more renewable energies into the power mix and being less reliant on coal and gas importation from abroad. Moreover, it has also now allowed foreign investments in some key sectors around the country's energy utilities. This will help stir up a more competitive nation and center around its customers by keeping costs low. However, as we are still not there yet, only time will truly tell whether the country will actually be able to transform itself. Anyway, what do you think?